Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spiritual Bite number 114, dated November 25th, 2020. I'm Walter, <clears throat> your mobile historian and blue-collar scholar. The Spiritual Bite is entitled, Do Not Take God's Blessings for Granted. Recently, I heard a homily at Mass which really, really grabbed me, and the subject of the homily was the very ungrateful nature of the human race when it comes to uh, showing thanks to our Heavenly Father for the blessings that we receive from Him. Now, it's not a surprise that humans don't often show thanks to our Father and are very uh, nonchalant about it, okay? They take His blessings for granted, which is a very unfortunate thing. But as humans are very selfish beings, it's no surprise. Humans don't show gratitude to other humans. So why would they show gratitude to our Heavenly Father? Sad, but very true. So the homily was based upon a passage in the Gospel of Luke. If you want to follow along, it's Luke 17, verses 11 through 19. It reads as follows. Now on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten men with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance, raised their voices, and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went along, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He fell with his face to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus said, were not ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to turn back and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to the man, get up and go your way. Your faith has made you well. So, from this passage, we can clearly see that Jesus felt some kind of way, big time, that out of 10 men that he just healed from leprosy, one of the most undesirable and unpleasant medical conditions of that era, only one came back to say thank you. One. And that one, as Jesus points out, was a foreigner, a Samaritan. Thus, he was a non-Jew. Okay? That obviously implies that the other nine men were Jewish. People who Jesus was directed towards. The Samaritan, being a non-Jew, Jesus' ministry was not directed towards Samaritans and others. It was directly aimed at the Jewish nation, the Israelites. Okay? And the fact that the Israelites, the other nine men, didn't bother to come back and say thank you. But the one who Jesus was not directing his ministry towards, Samaritans, the non-Jews, did come back to say thank you, is really unbelievable to him. All right? But alas, deep down, he's obviously not surprised, okay, at the way the Jewish nation was, all right, at this time. So... It proves to us from this passage that our Heavenly Father and the Christ, when blessings come from them to us mere mortals, to us human beings, they, like anyone, want us to show gratitude. We are not to take those blessings for granted. Like I mentioned in another spiritual bite, our father owes us nothing, squat, zilch, okay? He made us, okay? He made us from top to bottom and directs every step of our lives. He doesn't owe us anything, okay? He obligates himself to us because he loves us so much, but that obligation is on his terms and conditions, not ours, okay? Which is why when he shows us blessings, gives us things that we probably don't deserve. He wants us to show our gratitude, 
Don't you? When you do something nice for someone, even if you don't expect repayment or whatnot, don't you at least want the person to say thank you? Indeed. So does he. Okay? For sure, he's used to the ungrateful nature of human beings. It's part of our fallen nature, okay? To, to, to not show gratitude, to not simply say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for helping me pass that test. Thank you, thank you Father, for allowing me to get approved for that home mortgage, okay? Thank you, Father, for not uh, letting my car break down in spite of it needing a lot of work, okay? Thank you, Father, for allowing uh, my crops to not be eaten away by bugs and, and, and other animals, all right? I mean, thank you, Father, for waking me up today, okay? For putting air in my lungs, all right? Thank you, Father, for simply allowing me to be able to thank you, okay? He knows our hearts, and he knows when we are sincere, all right? He does not expect us to throw a huge banquet or a party. As we, as you can see from the gospel passage, all the Samaritan did was come back and tell Jesus, thank you. And that's all Jesus wanted. Okay. That's all he was seeking. And he was exceptionally pleased and proud with the Samaritan for doing this. And obviously he was very displeased with the Israelites who didn't come back to say thank you. Thank you means a lot. Your gratitude implies that you truly appreciate what I did. And that gives me incentive to keep doing nice things for you. When you, when you do nice things, when our, rather when our Heavenly Father does nice things for us, I honestly believe it uh, provides incentive for us, for Him to keep showing us favor and graces when we show Him our gratitude. Because He is not like us, thank goodness. He will likely continue to give blessings, whether or not certain people ever show him gratitude, just because he loves us so much, okay? But make no mistake about it. Every time he does something nice and people do not show him gratitude, he takes account of it, all right? And I honestly believe as well that it may reduce the amount of Blessings that some people get when they fail to show that gratitude. He sees it and he feels it, okay? And he wants our gratitude as he doesn't owe us anything. When he shows us his wonderful, wonderful side, giving us what we want, like I said, regardless of whether we deserve it or not at times, all he wants to hear from us in return is thank you. Thank you, Father for giving me something that I really sought. I appreciate it, thank you so much, okay? And the gospel shows us that those who do that will never go wrong, all right? It is seen and it is appreciated, okay? And I firmly believe that those who show that gratitude will undoubtedly continue to receive blessings and favor from above. So, that's just my take on it. You may or may not agree with me, and that's fine. Any questions or comments, okay, please leave them down below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I invite you to do so. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Just click that little red subscribe button and we are in business. And remember the moral of the story, folks. Do not take God's blessings for granted. As he giveth, he may taketh away. And he always, like any one of us, appreciates our gratitude when he does nice things for us. Take care. Stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you at the next one. Peace.